Big Pine, California is located within the Sierra Nevada mountain range and offers some of the most picturesque hiking trails in the state. The North Fork of the Big Pine Creek Trail starts at the Big Pine Creek Campground, where we were fortunate enough to secure a spot for a few nights. This journey begins with a peaceful wander along Big Pine Creek and then quickly gains an elevation as you make your way into the heart of the John Muir Wilderness. We made this trek in early October when the mornings and evenings were cool. Keep in mind, this trail starts at an elevation of close to 8,000 feet. When we started the hike, we were dressed in layers. However, we quickly shed some of those layers as we began the steady ascent toward the glacial lakes. The trail pretty much parallels the creek all the way to the lakes. It was so nice to hear the relaxing sounds of water for much of our hike. Another thing we enjoyed about this hike is that the landscape was constantly changing. We passed Jeffrey Pine, sagebrush, cottonwood, and colorful aspen trees on our journey. The trail meanders through forests, over bridges, and across a wide variety of terrain. At about the halfway point, depending on how far you choose to go, you'll come upon the Wilderness Ranger Camp, also known as Lawn Cheney's Cabin. The cabin was designed by Los Angeles architect Paul Revere Williams and was built for $12,000 in 1929. While the property has been shuttered for years, passerbys can still utilize the porch and exterior areas of the cabin to rest and relax. We reached the first lake at about the four and a half mile mark. Just a short distance later, we came to the second lake, which is considered to be the crown jewel of this area. After relaxing for a while and taking in these gorgeous views, we decided it was time to start making the journey back to our campsite. There are actually seven big pine lakes, though for the sake of time and stamina, we decided to turn back after the first two. By the time we got back to our campsite, we had hiked 10 and a half miles round trip with a total elevation gain of close to 2,500 feet. You can actually camp near the lakes, but an overnight permit is required and must be obtained in advance. We figured a day hike was good enough for us as this wasn't the only hike on our Eastern Sierra's itinerary. We were so grateful to have a cozy place to come back to at the end of a tiring yet inspiring day.